in essence, uh, sustainable innovation is something that I see as a renewal from the mind aimed at enhancing the well-being of the world and the next generation. And the reason I say that is that this perspective on sustainable innovation rest of four ideas. First one is that uh, at its very core, back to the etymology of the word innovation, innovation means renewal from within. And the second idea is that I see this renewal from within as a renewal from the mind because uh, I see innovation never starts with either product, process or technology, but it always starts with the way you look at the world and potentially at the way you look at, the, at, at solving problems. So in other words, before hitting the, the assembly line of manufacturing, uh, innovation has to hit the assembly line of our thought and our visions. The, the third idea is that innovation for its own sake doesn't really, I mean, doesn't really have a meaning, it's pointless. Innovation is always an answer or should always be an answer, either a new answer to an existing problem or an anticipative answer to a problem that might occur in the future. And if you look at the most successful innovation, most of the time, you will actually recognize that they tend to address a problem which was of great significance. And, and, and finally, what will ultimately make that that answer inscribed into in, in the long term and make it sustainable is actually its ability to go beyond just avoiding doing harm but enhancing the well-being of the world of today and and the next generation tomorrow so ultimately when i think about sustainable innovation what it means to me behind the idea i, I see the idea of protecting the world as it is of today while propelling humanity and the world uh, to a better future tomorrow. I do believe that it's important because it gives us an opportunity to redefine a new growth model revolving around a new equilibrium that could benefit both um, business and society. And uh, the, the reason I say that is that I think that to truly appreciate the potential magnitude of impact uh, of sustainable innovation, you have to look and to put in perspective both, I would say, a strategic and a societal lens. From a strategic standpoint, when, when if you think about of innovation, innovation is mainly a growth avenue, aims at growing revenues, strengthening market position, but ultimately and ideally aimed at translating into a form of strategic advantage. From a societal and economic standpoint, we need to acknowledge that to, as of today, the, the, the starting point we are at is that we are just out of centuries of industrial revolutions, but uh, paved with a lot of externalities. So when you have, when you reconcile both, um, in sustainable innovation has the potential to actually reconcile the, the growth of business with uh, positive societal development for, for, for the world. To make it a reality, fundamentally, corporations need three things. They need purpose, they need direction, and they, mean they need alignment. And concretely, what do I mean by that is that, as I said earlier, so innovation by its own, for its own sake, doesn't really have meaning. It has to, to put it, to inscribe itself into, into broader framework. And, and the first part of the framework is the strategic purpose that it has to serve. At the level of the firm, at the level of the organization, innovation and sustainable innovation has to fulfill or to help a firm fulfill its strategic purpose, which I defined as a thin phase is between the firm's strategic ambition and societal aspiration. When it comes to the direction, the direction I'm thinking about is, must, is first and foremost an economic direction. And, and by that, I mean the, the world economic trajectory that we see uh, unfolding uh, before our eyes. But moving forward, the, the trajectory of the, the ultimate economic direction that I see is what I call the, the economics paradigm, which I see, or which I would define as a paradigm converging both economic and ecologic considerations. And taken together, both purpose and direction do give a framework of, of vision and orientation to sustainable innovation. And that is a, what I believe a very, a very important element that organizations need to make it a reality. But there's a third one, and the third one is al alignment. And for that, you actually, your organizations need to have a clear business model. 
that not only aligns the firm with its strategic purpose and then the economic trajectory uh, that we see for the global economy, but also that, that align the time, um, the, the time trade-off and the, the time between the, the time frame of business result and the time uh, horizon of societal aspiration. So uh, while we have a framework of vision and a framework of orientation with the purpose and the direction, the business model very much comes as a framework of alignment, but most, but, but most importantly, a framework of implementation. And that ultimately is what will make the difference between a sustainable innovation that is effectively implementing and that can ultimately deliver results uh, for business and society. There are many challenges and many barriers, but I would point to the, the two that I believe are the most important ones. The first barrier that I see is a barrier of visibility, because regardless of the, the internationally defined or the internationally set sustainability deadline, think about 2030 or 2050, uh, the reality is that the ultimate economic paradigm in which sustainable innovation should inscribe itself and fully delivered to the promise of, of societal positive development has not been defined yet. And the reason why I see it as a barrier is that beyond the nobility of sustainable innovation, innovation are mainly investment decisions. And when it comes to investment decisions, clarity of future and a certain sense of, uh, of visibility is very important in order to be able to at least feel comfortable taking the risk of some bet that you might want to put on the table when it comes to sustainable innovation. The second barrier that I see, referring back to my definition of uh, sustainable innovation as a renewal from the mind, is actually very much tied to our own mindset, to our own thinking, and most of the time to the, to the mental models that we've been relied upon in order to deliver those centuries of economic prosperity, while unfortunately also and um, encountering some externalities. Now, moving forward, what do I see forward as potential solutions to break up these barriers? When it comes to a clarity of future, a clarity of visibility in terms of economic paradigm, I would think of basically trying to find the greatest common denominator. And by that, I mean that it, it might take some time before having two countries ag agreeing about what exactly should the economic paradigm be. But I think that the greatest common denominator that you might find that, that might give uh, organization flex uh, visibility is the objective of making sure that at the end of the day, the, 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 the world and the planet are better off strategically, economically, societally, and environmentally. And based, equipped with that framework and with, with that objective uh, in mind, I do believe that it may give an opportunity to break this, these first barriers uh, when it comes to making sustainable innovation a reality. When it comes to the second barriers, the, the best way I, I can think of to improve our mind in, uh, when it comes to sustainable innovation is actually trying to detach ourselves from the mental models uh, or the, the mental models who've been relied upon during those centuries of economic development. So both taken together, I believe, are, are very, could be very instrumental in giving visibility, but also visibility not only in terms of destination, but also in terms of own capacity to deliver on the promise of sustainable innovation. But uh, I'm very, you know, this part of the challenges, I'm very optimistic because for humans and for people in general, as it can be for organizations, economies, or countries, and, and the world at large. I do believe that once you are able to unlock the limit of the mind, pretty much on, on, on the way, on the path to, uh, to a positively limitless, sustainably uh, positive world. At the end of the day, it's really ensuring that that the world and the next generation are better off strategically, economically, societally, and environmentally. Another way to put it forward would be to think of the world as a precious things that we have borrowed from the next generation and sustainable innovation. The strategic purpose of sustainable innovation would be to make sure that the world we give back to the next generation in the 
next decades, the next centuries, will be in a much better place than it was before having put all these sustainable innovation into place.